So we are back again guys and for today's video is itatake natin ang chapter 1 ng ating Introduction to Computing which is the Computer Basics. So our learning objective for this chapter is to understand the purpose and elements of information system, recognize the different types of computers, Next is distinguish the main software types. Next one is identify the components of a computer system. And lastly, understand how computers communicate. So lesson one is understanding information system. So an information system is an interconnected environment for managing and processing data using a computer. So in layman's term, an information system is isa atong uh, interconnected environment na kung saan minamanage at pinaprocess ng computer ang ating data. So, in this particular topic, meron tayong limang parts. So, which is the people, hardware, software, procedures, and data. So, under the people, people is the one who use the computer. So, primarily tayo yung gumagamit ng computers. Next one is the hardware. The hardware is the physical parts of the computer system. Which is example ito is uh, itong keyboard, mouse, monitor, etc. So ang software natin is, the, is a program that tells the hardware what to do. So basic example lang software natin is an op uh, operating system, which is an Windows or a uh, Mac OS, and application software such as a uh, Microsoft Office. So, so procedures is in the interacting with the computer. So as a people, uh, nag-i-interact tayo sa computer to put the data. So dito na ipapasag yung data. So next is identifying the computer types. So we have two types of computers. We have a personal computers and multi-users computers. So under the personal computers, meron tayong desktop PC, netbook or laptop, tablets, and smartphone. So basically, personal computers from the word itself is a personal computer which is uh, ginagamit for one person. So next, we have the multi-users computer. So which is, is the server, mainframe, and computers. So multi-users computers are designed to serve a group of people. So kini server is para lang siya sa mga kuan lang, gagmay lang siya. For example, is a uh, Dedicated na siya to perform a network task for managing files, printers, or emails for multiple users. Hamang si mainframe is a large and powerful computer capable of serving many users and processing large amount of data at once. And lastly, si supercomputer is the largest, is the most powerful types of computers so processing the capability of a mainframe typically used in research and academics. So basically, the server is gamay. About the server is small, small uh, for a small group of people. Si mainframe is a medium size, and si supercomputer si super is a large size. So the next one is understanding software types. So we have actually four. This is the BIOS, the basic input output system. Next is the operating system. Next is the utilities. And lastly, the application software. So, unsay kalahian ani ko parts. So, kining what is BIOS? So, BIOS is basic input output system. So, makita rang yun si BIOS kung ano siya mag-iatong i-open or i-start up at ang PC or laptop. So, kining siya, mauni siya o kining yung mga wastri. Kining. Muni BIOS. And then once na mo ma open ah uh, mo mata sa BIOS, next na i-open ni computer is atong operating system. So atong operating system is the one who operates the system uh, after sa startup or ni BIOS. So so let one siya na ra siya pasunod. Si BIOS muna tapos si operating system. So a purpose ni operating system it provides the user interface. It runs applications, it controls and manages the file storage system, and it communicates with the hardware. 
So next is the utilities. So ang mga utilities na to, from the word itself, utility, so na sila ang nagamintin sa atuang programs. So sample na ni is mga antivirus, firewall, so next is the application software. So si application software is designed to do something productive or fun, something of interest to a human user. So application software, naghan ni, so pili siya games, pili ni siya uh, pa, Egypt, uh, uh, Microsoft Office, kanang application muna siya application software. So the next one is computer system components. Kinisha is consists of four parts. Gapon, there's the input, processing, output, storage. So from the word input, magbutang tawag data sa tuang computer using our input devices. So kana mga devices na is matatag na siya from the next uh, chapter. So at uh, for the input, magbutang magbutang tawag data sa computer. Once nga mabuto tag data sa computer, mapasok na siya si processing. So si computer yung i-process ang atuang data. So once nga mahuman niya ang process ang atuang data, gawas na siya into output. So may output mo na ito ang mga sample sa atong output devices is which is our monitor, speaker, printer, etc. So laghan pa na siya. So, ma so once nga mahuman siya o process, i-mabot siya sa output, iyan po na siyang i-store sa to ang uh, storage devices. So, daghan tag storage devices which is the hard disk drive, uh, optical drivers, and etc. So, how data is represented on a computer? So, si computer din siya kabal mo ba sa amin? Bala na ni computer is 1 o 0. So, a bit is a single binary digit with either a 1 or on or 0 or off value. So, ano siya? Ang bit is isa lang. So, ato ang byte is consists of 8 bits. Ay, kalibo ka, bit and byte. So, bit isa. Ang byte is walo kabuok na bit. After sa bit, nanapotay kilobyte, mega, uh, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, o petabyte. So, kung mga tanong, kila na kabuok bit sa, sa ka kilobyte, natin 1,024 kabit which is natay 1024 na 101001 so on and so forth sa megabyte natay 1,048,576 nga bytes and sa gigabytes na atay approximately 1 billion sa tera 1 trillion and sa penta 1 quadrillion ka bytes so taas ako na ko sa storage so natay input devices nga sample trays which is the keyboard mouse microphone camera etc next is the processing devices which is the CPU RAMs ROM etc output devices monitor speaker and printer and lastly storage devices is hard drive or optical disk so kinitanan ni explain ni siya or itakil ni siya sa next chapter so how computers communicate so, kini siya mag-talk na siya o networking. Pero dito ang power ha. Networking. Network is two or more computers connected to share data and resources. So, muna ang network. Two or more computers ka mag-share of data and resources. So, natay Ethernet networking. So, Ethernet is the current dominant standard for local area networking devices or the LAN device. So, ito ang Ethernet Network, mo na siya katong nasa katong ginapansa ka na itong RG45 o katong uh, UTP cable. So, pwede na siya wired using kato or wireless or combination of two. So, sample sa itong wireless is Wi-Fi Ethernet. So, Wi-Fi Ethernet is more often called Wi-Fi. So, ang Wi-Fi is a radio frequency na siya na ginagamit. So, di na siya kailangan ng cables. So next na atay route. <coughs> so router manage the network traffic between the connected devices. So ang trabaho ni uh, so basically mo na ang kinyo, mo na ang router. Router manage the network traffic between connected devices. Mo na ang router. So ang router is a connection box for ethernet network that basically joins the devices in the network via wired or provides a wireless connectivity enables a connection to an outside network such as internet. 
So, kini yung router ko, muna kayo sa tuwa, kay kita halos na nang uh, nagagamit ta o internet o nagagamit ta o wifi. So, admit yun pa siya makitaan. So, ang trabaho ni router is to manage the network's traffic it, uh, between the connected devices. So, na po tayo switch. So, kini yung switch. So, switch can connect hundreds of computers into a central network system. So, in short, si router is pang beginner lang siya. Gamera yung ma, uh, uh, ma-handle na devices or limited lang. Habang si switch naman, so, nasa sa mid-range. So, uh, si router is gamay. Gamay raya ang makaya na network. Habang si switch is nasa medium size. Nasa sa mga hundred of computers lang naman. Nga kaya niya ang network so na po tayo fiber optic kini siya ang pinaka dako so, up, so kini siya so balik ka sobo na si router pang level 1 pang beginners si switch si, uh, si switch naman si switch is pang level 2 or pang medium size lang siya yeah, ito ang pang malakasan dyan is si fiber optic so ang, naka, ang nakanindot lang ni fiber optic is kusog siya and kaya niya nga daghan ang mga mate na network sa iya. So, ang downside lang aning fiber optic is mahal. Same yun sa switches. Pero mas mahal yung fiber optic kung pa sa switches. Yan. Ang router is barato lang. So, pang balay ang router, ang kining switches pang skwilahan. Tapos, buta na to, ang kining fiber optic pang uh, may sa pamanda ko ha. Pang PLDT good na fiber. So, na po tayo peer-to-peer. -peer. So, peer-to-peer -peer means there's no one computer that controls the network. So, all computers can be uh, cooperate to share data with each other. So, kining peer-to-peer is wala siya device ng gamiton. Just simply the cables and the computers. So, dua computers connected na siya sa, sa isa ka cable. So, kanas ng dua pwede sila mag-share of data and files. So next na type Bluetooth networking. So kining Bluetooth networking for sure kilala mo Bluetooth. So ang Bluetooth is a short range wireless alternate to wireless Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So ang Bluetooth yung ginagamit mostly sa mga uh, headset na ron, mouse, uh, halos ta nang wired nga device sa una. Gin uh, ginahimo na siyang Bluetooth ron. Para dili pa para dili na siya samok sa tuang Yes, uh, strong na misa. So next na tayo, the internet. So the internet is the world's largest network. So you can exchange email messages, download files, and, web, and view web pages stored anywhere in the world. So internet service providers, ISP, company that provides a connection for a fee. So balik ta sa ato ang how computers so how computers communicate now to summarize na no how computers communicate sa so, networking pwede siya wired or wireless or combination of two so ang sa wireless mo na siyang nitaw to wifi and then pag natay ginagamit ng devices para sa to ang networking router switch or fiber optic so si router Uh, mamanage niya ang traffic between connected devices pero gamay lang siya nga devices si switch is medyo magulang magulang lang ni hindi router and si fiber optic mo ito ang pinakakusog nga networking nga kaya niya so kini router switch of fiber optic di necessarily nga natay internet connection para maka network ta kaya for example natay dua ka po tanto dua ka computers or let's say five Nga si computer number 1 gusto makai of files gikan ka computer number 5. So without the so i step asa na to ang internet type. Eh. Once mo yung tag networking mo gudahon na sa mainly huna na sa, sa isa ka tao is internet. So ang in networking is sharing lang na siya of files sa at is sa ligid nga uh, internet connection. So bisan pag natay router what the internet connection pwede ta maka share of files gikan sa isa kang computer to another computer. Na po tayo katong tawag ng peer-to-peer. So, kanyang peer-to-peer is kanyang manual din siya nga. Ayun siya totally manual. Uh, wala alam siya yung device yung ginagamit. 
sa uh, pan siya direct siya nga ipansak sa tong isa ka computer sa Pika's computer. Pero kini siya karaw wala kaya siya ginagamit ron since daghan naman tag mga devices nga pwede pang pangmalakasan siya nga network nga fast pass og pangdako. Nya next is ang Bluetooth. So ang Bluetooth networking is network gap on siya. Pwede siya ma-send ni Bluetooth ma-send ni cellphone ang music sa headset nga wireless. So muna siya yung purpose sa Bluetooth. Next is the internet. So the internet is the largest yun sa the largest. Kaya dako ni siya nga kuan biggest network. So nga nung gitawag o biggest network nga to ang internet it is because daghan nagagamit sa internet as of now samot na ron daghan nagagamit sa internet dako siya nga interconnection Inter daghan siya connection pwede ko makakommunicate sa laing tao bisag asa pa siya so kato siya networking na tong tawag ato nag network ang amo ang duwa ka device using the ISP so kining ISP muna na tong magdiri na si KLDT si Globe mo sulod So that is it for this chapter and ako yung gihatag na mo Diyos sa inyo which is Ansiran Tunio. So, bye!